Hi, I was out flying the FX61 Phantom today. Um, it's only the second time I've flown it, and I managed to uh, hit the ground trying to launch it. Um, I struggled a bit, but that's not the reason we're here. Um, there wasn't actually any damage caused, it's just that the wing uh, managed to, the block that holds in the wing under here, the wooden strip that's got a, a, a nut in it to screw in uh, the part of the wing that slots in here. Well basically that left the wing, broke away, uh, just came on, it's, the glue's obviously not good enough, it, it came away. So this is the second time this has happened, so I've decided now to change the design a little bit. Instead of um, just using the screws to hold those front sections of the wing in, what you can see I've done here is I have drilled a hole, and as you can see right through the middle, the hole goes all the way through to one side. And uh, there we go. And I basically put the hole in using the soldering iron because that's quite good at melting the CPO foam. And the holes I bored in it, the idea is I'm going to put this carbon fiber tube in through the hole, like so. Um, so that it pokes through on the other side a little bit because I've got a battery tray to fit in the middle and there's not much too much of a gap on either side of it for this stuff. And on this side I am poking another bit through here so that it's just like that. Uh, and I'm going to cut that so that it's flush with the outside uh, of this here. And the idea behind that is this gives me a rigid tube that's perfectly in line from one side of the aircraft to the other. Now, you might say, but is it in line? Well, here we go. Here's a test. So I've got another piece of carbon tube here that I can slot inside the first one, and I can push it all the way through. And how about that? So I spent a little bit of time and effort Making sure, oops, sorry, I had to lift the camera out of the way there. Making sure that this is lined up and it's perfectly straight. Obviously, uh, when I glue these tubes in place, I'm going to do that uh, with this bar attached so that it basically holds it perfectly in line uh, until the glue's set, and then I can remove the central tube. Now the idea of the central tube is that I'm going to fit that into the wing in front of the uh, the spar that already exists in the wing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, cut it long enough so that it just pokes through on the inside here and I'm going to have a, either a hole in the end here or a little slot cut in it and I'm going to have an elastic band of some sort joining the two ends together and what that's going to do is it's going to pull the wings in to the fuselage so it's basically put an inward force holding those wings in at the front it also obviously gives uh, gives some stability in this direction as well um, those blocks just weren't going to cut it they, they were basically any time you, you hit the end of the wing and you f put any force on it it cracked the wing this way and it pushed the block out so that just wasn't going to do it. So this is my okay I've done a little bit more on the uh, on this uh, FX 60, 61 wing. Um, what I've basically done is I've now cut these tubes to uh, oops, let's get it in the shot. I've cut these tubes to length and as you can see on this side I have taken the piece of ply which used to be under the surface here with the encapsulated nut in it and removed the encapsulated nut and I've drilled out 12 mil hole and as you can see in the hole here I have the carbon fiber tube flush with the outside of the wood the idea there is I'm going to epo epoxy this in place and it means that if there are any backwards or forward movements or up or down movements it's going to spread the load across the entire length of this wood rather than just sp uh, applying the load to the to the actual hole in the uh, in the foam so by by putting the wood in like i say it's it's got to literally be able to pull the entire piece of wood down and there's going to be a lot of epoxy behind that holding that in place so um 
yeah so hopefully that will give it a bit of extra strength um, when I put the wing back on of course there'll be a little bit of a gap where this timber used to be but I'll pack that out with some foam or some uh, maybe another piece of ply if I can find another piece lying around um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna that's the neck that's where I'm up to right now so hi there so uh, I'm back uh, I've now cut the uh, the block so that it is that that much less the width of that piece of ply less in the blocks width and now sorry <laughs> silly me when you put that together now you can see that it puts all the way ho home and well a tiny fraction of a millimeter gap there nothing much and it's nice and snug on the other side uh, a gap here so that's that cut now next we've got to put the rod inside the wing and it's got to be lined up exactly perfectly with the one inside so what I decided to do was to take the uh, was to take the tube that I was using um, for lining up the uh, the tubes here when I was fitting them in and gluing them in I was using this uh, temporarily in the middle what I've done is I've sharpened the end of the tube so I basically stuck uh, an exacto knife or a Stanley knife in the end of the tube and on the inside and I, I ground it to a very sharp razor edge finish and then on the outside I just took some uh, a sanding block to it to just uh, make it pointed on the outside so basically we've got this tip here is razor sharp now my, my idea is that I'm going to slot that through the uh, this side, through the block on this side. I'm going to slot it all the way across the sharp edge here into the tube at this side. And I'm going to push it into the wing. So I'm going to hold the wing really firmly and like this I'm gonna push down on this rod here into the wing and doing that it should cut into the foam of the wing and I can feel it cutting right now there we go it's cutting quite nicely down through that there we go it's cutting way way down into the foam of the wing if I spin the wing around you can't see an awful lot on the side until we slide it apart and when we slide it apart you can see now that if I just put the fuse down, you can see that the uh, the tube here is actually drilled a hole into that central section and we know it's perfectly in line with the whole, uh, with the outer tube that's in the fuselage. So, what we have to do now is before we uh, do that and push it in too far, we need to basically make sure that when we are uh, pushing it in, you know, we're not going too far. At the moment, we've gone uh, only this much, but I'm going to try and get this in maybe about whatever that is. It's about. Um, 50 mil beyond the wooden block right so to do that I'm gonna mark this piece of carbon tube here where my fingers pointing and uh, I'll push it in until that lines up and that's we'll come back after that. right I've now put the rod into the wing I've not glued it yet I'm about to do that you can actually see it under the foam just about you can see how far it goes I've got about um, 65 mil actually, 65 millimeters from the edge of the ply here to where the uh, the rod was pushed into. Um, it's quite good actually when you sharpen the end of the rod it pushes in it's not too bad and it, it basically it's like a core drill so it, it drills out a core of material which goes inside the tube so when you pull the tube out it comes out like a worm basically out the middle of the tube so it actually clears out the hole for you um, uh, as long as you push it in far enough um, it basically snaps off at the end of the uh, 
at the end of the rod here and as you when you pull the rod out and it pulls out the the center of the core so it leaves a nice clean hole in the foam so uh what i've done now is um if i turn this over you'll see i've actually got a a slot you can see it if i hold it side on a slot in the end of the uh the carbon rod there the idea being that's kind of a hook that i can put an elastic band around and hook it around the the rod on the opposite wing um, to pull the two together so that's how I'm planning to do it you can see if I put it against the wall there you can just about make out the uh, the slot there so next job is just to glue it and I'm gonna hot glue this in uh, as opposed to using epoxy um, I find that I don't know it's just difficult getting the epoxy down there um, with hot glue kind of drips down there it's not that easy with it um, epoxy to get it right down in a deep hole so um, I'm going to use hot glue for this part, um, so that's that's the next bit. I'll come back in a minute. Hey there, just wanted a quick update. This will be the final video uh, section in this uh, video, but I wanted to give you a quick update on where I got to. Um, as you can see, I've now uh, added the piece of uh, ply at the back around the tube that's glued in there. I also added a second packing piece, as I said I would do, to uh, uh, fill in the gap that's uh, um, left over from the uh, the piece that was taken out originally and I've done exactly the same thing at the other side and uh, and there we are so that's complete the tubes are more or less even not perfect but hey it works that's the main thing um, I'll get the wing and connect it and I'll show you what that's that looks like Okay, so I've got the wing here now, and I'm going to plug the thing together, and you can see what happens when I do. So that lines up with that. That slots into there nice and easy. Just pushes together, and then on the inside, you'll see the uh, inner tube. I can bring it up a bit closer here, maybe. It's tough to see, but you can see the inner tube with the slot in it poking through. You can see that as I move the, uh, the wing in and out there, that's the bit that pops through. Okay, and then we add the other wing. So here's the other wing. That's exactly the same thing. Pops through there. It slots on really nice. And I'm going to turn it over. It's awkward because this is a bit of a beast for this uh, small space. Filming in, but here we go. So, if you, you can see there now, we've got these two hooks that I haven't referred to many times, and uh, I've got uh, actually a, uh, a lady's hairband um, elastic band thing that goes around the ends there to pull them in. So, that's the uh, solution. I'm just going right, okay. So, um, I've got one of these things, it's just a hairband, and the idea is you put it around one end like so and oh, oops it's difficult to do with one hand as you can see and around the other end like so and there we go now you're probably wondering where the heck the battery goes in this because there's not a lot of space left so what i actually had done is i've created this battery tray um, it's basically made of um, EPP foam, I think it is. I don't know, whatever that's called. Um, and it basically slots in there. Now the thing is, the elastic band's kind of in the way now. So what I've done is I've cut a slot um, in that now, and that's where the band sits. So basically that slots in over the top of the band. And basically the, that band's now holding that from going back and forth, which is really nice. And my battery slots in there. And if you can see um, in there, maybe a little bit, uh, in there we can see the bands there and it's kind of flush with the foam which is nice so it, it just fits in there quite nicely. So there we go, so that's it. Um, of course the lid goes on top, encapsulates everything inside. Uh, so, and there's the lid which goes on top and that fits in there just nice and everything's inside and you'd never know 
Okay, so I hope that helps someone maybe. Um, so it's certainly an idea. Um, I don't really know how effective it is until I give it a shot. So I'll be out hopefully flying this weekend and uh, I'll post some comments below. So um, cheers guys. <laughs>